Kennedy to match the star. Avery Schreiber, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Della Reese, Richard Dawson, and Betty White as we play the star studded Big Money Match Game 77. And now, here's the star of Match Game 77, Gene Raymond. Those of you who get Match Game PM in your localities, I want you to watch for this cast of characters. Because <laughs> we finished recently taping a Match Game PM show with these people. That was so funny, it just cracked me up all to pieces. And I want to say something in complimenting these people. Uh, as a guy who runs this thing, I don't want to blow my own horn, but it is so gratifying to work with professionals who will respond to you in a creative, amusing <laughs> way, and I thank you all. You were just wonderful. You were wonderful. Now I think you better go on. <laughs> I can't explain gonna it because it would take too long exactly what we did, but it was the funniest, in my opinion, the funniest PM show we have done, and I must go on now before I cry. <laughs> now let's say hello to Linda Chavis and Don Gordon. Linda Chavis is our current champ. She has won one game. She has $5,600. She won as much as she could in one game, didn't she? Yes. What are you going to do with that money, Linda? Go to Vegas. <laughs> oh. Oh. She didn't say that, Bible Belt, wherever you are. And she's going to be challenged now by Don Gordon, a brand new contestant. We welcome you, sir. Thank and you. we'd like to find out a little bit about you. Well, I live in Orange County. I'm married to a very lovely young lady by the name of Lisa. We have two beautiful daughters, Jan and Jill. Yeah. I'm in sales. My favorite pastimes are golf and skydiving, one of which I don't do anymore. <laughs> skydiving. Right. Oh. Took one too many, huh? Well, one guy I put well on the head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I a hole in one. All right. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> good luck to you, Don Gordon. We'll start this game after we do a little business with America. Hello there. <laughs> you ready? ready? Don, are you ready? Yes, I think so. Are you so? sure you're ready? Oh, there you are. A or B, Don? B, please. B. Here we go. Who were you kissing then on that break? I wasn't kissing anyone. That was just a sham. Really? It looked like I was kissing Better not be. Faye said last night I went to a Hollywood pickup bar. My luck. I got picked up by Blank. <laughs> Faye. Faye said last night I went to a Hollywood pickup bar. My luck. I got picked up by Blank. Now he's looking at my face. <laughs> Really? Yes. Look at mine all the time. <laughs> okay. Go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking. Now, Read it once to yourself. Do you know there's a wonderful actor in this town called Don Gordon? There who's is. He's a good friend of mine. He's a terrific actor. An actor? actor. Yeah. Is that him? No, no, that's not How him. do you know if he's a great actor? That's Don Gordon, a civilian. Right. Former skydiver. It might be him in disguise. You know. Nine golf well, handicapper, right? Yes. About? Yes. About. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready, Charles? <laughs> okay. I don't know what I Faye said last night I went to a Hollywood pickup bar. My luck, I got picked up by blank. King Kong. Okay. Oh. Oh. Faye? If Faye said it, King Kong would be a logical answer, oh, wouldn't of it? Of course. Yeah. Funny. What do you say? Well, knowing the Hollywood pickup bars, the police. The police? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, if you will, hon, the fuzz. The fuzz. What'd you say, Charles? I said a whole different route. I said pick, picked up means something. I picked up ah. by the diaper service. <laughs> the diaper. Picked up by a diaper service. I mean, Charles. Uh, just I don't understand you, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I got picked up and by. You don't explain the call. Just now. don't pick on Charles because he's very creative. Yes, he is. She said that, you know. I said a garbage collector. A garbage collector. <laughs> they do pickups. Mm. Now, Don, watch this. Abracadabra. Watch <laughs> 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 a Hollywood pick up bar, bar, and my luck, I got picked up by King Kong. Bar. 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 It wasn't a bar, he was an ape. <laughs> Looked in his hand and said, where'd she go? I must have dropped her. Ooh, here. <laughs> King Kong. There it is. <laughs> Linda, you ready? Okay, here it is. Harold said, I come from a town that's so square at the... Pretty good, excuse me for interrupting you. <laughs> Harold said, I come 
Townsville Square at the library, you have to be over 21 to take out the blank. <laughs> Square Town, you got to be over 21 to take out the blank. I have the definitive answer. There's All no right. question about it. It's dead, it's dead. Oh, I like that better. Okay. Now, Get Linda. Harold said I come from a town that's so square at the library, you have to be over 21 to take out the blank. The library card? <laughs> now, it's a bad answer, but it's not so bad that we're going to take away your $5,000. It's, it's just, I don't think it's going to get you anywhere, that's all. What did she say? She said, the library card. The library card. Oh. What do you say? Well, I know a card at the library. The librarian. The librarian. The librarian. I like it. Say definitive. Definitive. <laughs> okay, thank you. Pedro the voter, what do you say? I say that is not necessarily the definitive answer. Yes, sir. I said the square you had it at the Bible. The Bible? <laughs> that is definitive answer number two. Thank you. Charles, don't pull the Bible. Said the dictionary. The dictionary. That's okay. That gives definitive answer. Yes, the dictionary has 30 pictures in it. Okay. <laughs> At the library, you have to be over 21 to take out the library card, according to hmm, her. What I didn't say that. Linda. What? I said the Bible, too. The Bible. Well, Thank you, Bella. Bella. Yes. The Bible, part two, they made the sequel. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, the New Testament. Yeah. Red was what? the Old Testament. French I was Connection the one. Weird. <laughs> Librarian. Librarian. What? Marion, the librarian. Yes, sir. So there we are at the end of round one. Don Gordon's ahead two to nothing. Round two coming up after this. Are you ready? We've been waiting for you. Okay, here we go. Round two. Final round. Don, it's up to you. Uh, B again, please. All right. The upper tier plays and you. Here we go. Dumb Donald was so dumb. <laughs> Getting better. He went to the new stadium and tried to blank the artificial grass. <laughs> Doug Donald was so dumb. He went to the new stadium and tried to blank the artificial grass. Don't say it. Hold There's on. There's several good answers out there. It's just put one on the card. Let's not have a long colloquy. I'm caught between a pair here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, look at Don Gordon and see what he thinks, you know, and, and evaluate what he gave last time. And oh, well, there. what did he say uh, the last time? All right, was hold I on here? Now. Shh. Oh. Don. Dumb Don was so dumb. Nothing personal. <laughs> he went to the new stadium and tried to blank the artificial grass. How about mow the grass? <laughs> you know, based on that marvelous, sophisticated answer you gave last time, when you caught the innuendo there of Fay, Ray, and King Kong, you did give that answer, didn't you? Yes. I thought you would have said something else. Yes, because he was so dumb, I thought he'd try to smoke. The <laughs> but don't smoke and mow or cut are the two good answers for this <laughs> question. What do you say? You Why do you play? always wait until you get here and then you say, and the eight good answers are this and this and this yeah. and this, knowing that I'm not going to have any of or them. Or you're going to have either smoke or cut. No, I'm not. I'm going to have fertilized. <laughs> <laughs> I was betting on you. How what? do I look? Yeah. Fertilize. Yes, it looks great. What do you say, Charles? You should have a nurse. We've all signed the papers necessary. <laughs> The correct answer, of course. Mo! Okay, John, you picked up one there. Now, Della, it's up to you. I said smoke. Okay. <laughs> so there you are. You're up to three. And now, Linda, as we come to you, you must match three to tie, four to win. Mrs. Colonel Sanders said, I think the Colonel really wanted to marry a chicken. On our wedding night, he covered me with blank. <laughs> I think, uh, no, I think I can get this I think one. the colonel really wanted to marry a chicken. On our wedding night, he covered me with blame. If this isn't the right answer, I'm going to kill myself on the air. <laughs> How's that got gotcha. you, baby? <laughs> oh, God, that. Hey. Didn't mother say to cover your mouth when you sneeze? You're spreading germs all over CBS, the farmer's market, the dinosaur show next door, and everything. She plays too much tennis to ever get sick. Yeah. All right. That's when he sneezed on her paper. Look he what sneezed on her paper. <laughs> Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. Her crawling all over the place. Hello, Linda. Oh. Mrs. Colonel Sanders said, I think the Colonel really wanted to marry a chicken. 
Why, on our wedding night, he covered me with blank. I say frying oil, cooking oil. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell me? Are you telling this jury that you already won $5,600 and you come up with an answer like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. She's in frying oil. oil or cooking oil. I can understand like Nivea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Feathers. Feathers. You thought that rejected it, Linda? Okay, Linda. Brett, she's looking for frying oil. Does she get any from you? If I... 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 I, I, I but I'm going to get a cheer from the audience at last. Feathers! It's nice to be wanted. Yes? I said batter or bread crust. Batter or bread crust. Now, Linda, you must match the three remaining celebrities to stay in the game and achieve a tie. Della, we're up to you. I said feathers. Feathers. So that means John Gordon wins the game. Batter, well, congratulations to you, sir. Stand on the adhesive tape, and we're going to say goodbye to Linda Chavis, who leaves here with $5,600 on our best wishes. Goodbye, my dear. While we're sitting here, I'm going to spin these commercials for you. Don Gordon's won his first game. He's got $100. Now, he could win over $5,000 here. Shall we proceed? Yes, indeed. Okay, Don, we pulled a recent studio audience. We got their best response to this. Happy blank. Now, the answer that that group of people gave most frequently will net you a total of $500 if you match it. If you match the second most popular answer they came up with, you get $250 and then $100 for the third. And we'll get some help from our celebrities. Uh, Betty? Happy New Year. All right. Richard? Happy day. Yeah! Charles? Happy birthday to you! Charles, in television, you see, the microphones are very sensitive. And you're a man I'm of the... I'm used to clubs. And a man, of the, a man of the theater like you should know that you should just sit up straight and give your answer without... Okay. <laughs> okay. Now just sit up straight and do it. Thank you very much. Just for that, so you got happy birthday, happy days, and happy new year. Now you may have a better idea, or you may choose one of those. Well, the first thing that popped into my mind was happy days. Okay. That's what we tell you to do here. Trust your first instinct. We'll find out if it's good. We'll begin down at the bottom looking for happy days and reveal the $100 response. Happy hour. <laughs> happy days. Let's look at the $250 number. Happy birthday. To you. No, that's enough of that. Once is enough there. One course is plenty. Last chance for happy days. Slide it, Jack. You'll play for $5,000 right now. But we can't give you the money, Don, unless you come up with a match. This has to be an exact match, and you have to choose a celebrity now. Richard. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> All right, you just swing around here and face me, and this is it. It's worth $5,000, and it reads as follows. Machine blank. Machine blank. <laughs> Okay, Don. Now, we ask you to think for a moment, get your ESP flowing over to Richard, give us the same answer he's already put on that card, and we'll give you the money, $5,000. Machine gun. Yeah! Well, the first thought that came to my mind was machine shop. Not mine. Not yours. <laughs> Did you think of any others? Nope, that's the only machine one that... Gun. Bing, came that's right out just That's the like only that. one that came All in right. my little brain. All right. We'll turn around <laughs> right now and ask Richard if machine gun matches you. Does he get the 5,000 or not? What do they use to lubricate the machine? Oh, machine oil. Yeah. Three. And a big gun. Yeah. Mary, we welcome you and ask you to tell us about yourself. 
I'm single. I live in Calabasas. <laughs> That constitutes an offer. <laughs> you are now legally obligated. I'm yes. presently working at a char-broiled seafood restaurant in the valley. Mm -hmm. I like snow skiing, horseback riding, and all indoor sports. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I have an opening for Thursday. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Thursday. Mary now, Fran. we wish you the best of luck, Mary, and ask you to make a selection here. You may have A or B. B for blank. B for blank. Here we go. Mildred said. Mildred said, my husband is a real show-off. Last night he shouted, look, Ma, no hands, while he was blanking. <laughs> yeah, your husband said that. Thank you. There it is. Read it to Brett, would you please? Mildred said, my husband is a real show-off. Last night, There's your souvenir he shouted, look, Ma, no hands, while he was blanking. You see that sign over there? Mildred said, my husband is a real show-off. Last night, he shouted, look, Ma, no hands while he was blanking. Tinkling? <laughs> she right. wins. She wins, yes. Uh, while he was clapping. Yeah. Sorry, man. That's a very interesting answer. Go ahead. Figure it out? Yeah. Uh, somewhere along the line, I missed something. I said while he was eating and masticating. Eating and masticating. <laughs> while he was eating it up right out of the plate. Eating. All right, yes, I got it. I get it. Okay, Charles, you're going to be difficult. Now, Della, you said, look, my no hands while he was tinkling, according to her. I said hugging me. Hugging me. Yeah, that was interesting, too. Brushing his teeth. <laughs> All the weirdo answers are coming up in the hand. Yes, Miss Betty. I just hope they had a woman come in clean once a week, uh, drinking. Drinking. <laughs> so there you are, Mary. That's your first rounder, and that's the way they go. Now, we've got a little message for you. Watch this, then hurry back. Be sure to tune in next time because these are the celebrities who will be here. Nipsey Russell, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Rodgers, Rosemary Gosar, Richard Dawson, and Joyce Puma. Team Rayburn here. Join us next time for Max Game 77. Thank you. GSA. This Monday on American Dream Derby. I mean, just the fact that someone would make something up like that. That's what really bothered me. Betrayal at the mansion. It has to be something pretty bad to upset her like that. Suspicion at the stables. I suspect there's a lot we don't know about him. An indecent proposal. Do I need to sleep with you tonight? On American Dream Derby, anything goes, including one of the contestants. American Dream Derby, Monday at 9, only on GSN, the network for games. In a doggy -dog, dog world, there is only room for winners. Doggy -dog, dog, Wednesday night at 9 on GSN, the network for games.